Hey guys, uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm a bit hairy right now, uh, mostly because of my back issues. I haven't been able to shave recently or stand um, to shave, so I'm a little bit uh, like a gorilla right now. I am in the anchor wing at the private hospital um, that I'm currently at at the moment in uh, Zhejiang they did this very painful operation where they needed to go into my back and they needed to take out these bone fragments because what's happened is in my back itself the spine there was a fracture where my disc was and the disc is fine it healed but the bone fragments themselves kind of fused together and it turned into like this extra layer of bone that was stabbing into my nerve. Recently, it got worse. So it got to the point where I was in tons of pain and it affected my walking. So my left leg was literally limping. I wasn't doing very well, excuse me. I just had a coffee, so I'm, I'm trying to um, be able to go to the toilets basically um so yeah um i wasn't doing very well so i went for an x-ray uh, an mri scan to see what the problem was under my health insurance because the company i currently work for the school i currently work for as the drama teacher um has a uh, very very good health insurance plan so i went in and uh, they found what the problem was so they needed to operate and just break this thing out um, of my spine uh, very painfully. I was under local anesthetic. They got me into uh, the uh, emergency surgery room. I had to literally take six weeks off from work because I, there was no way in hell that I was actually gonna, um, that, I, that I could have lost. I asked them to see if I could last at the end of the semester because I wanted to help my kids, man. Like my kids and their performances are starting to do really well. And I feel like there's going to be a few setbacks <laughs> um, now that I'm basically away. Where the other teachers seem to be handling it well, so that's the good thing. Um, but I, you know, I wanted to get back as soon as possible for them. So uh, anyway, went into the operation room. They opened up my back <laughs> and... Uh, I was on the local anaesthetic and literally went off this thing with a with a small miniature hammer um, to break this thing off and they were going straight through my back. Dude, the, the amount of pain I was in, I was screaming in pain trying to, <laughs> trying to get out of this and um, it, it left me in a situation where I was, uh, I was almost crying. They hammered all the pieces out. They flushed all the, the bone fragments out. Uh, now it's gone. They said that there's another, I think it's in my L5, there's another um, another piece of bone fragments that they may have to tackle eventually that may have the same problem. Um, but that's like maybe 10 years down the line, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, and if that is going to be a problem, they said that's just as long as I keep rehabbing, then I'll be fine. Because that's what I was told originally with this, um, with this problem, that I had just had to rehab it and I would have been fine when I was back in the UK. The NHS, um, and I love the NHS, but the, the fact they're being basically raped by the government at the moment is just... Mm. So they probably gave me bad advice instead of giving me the, the advice that I needed. But anyway... Um, 10 years down the line, this happened. So maybe 10 years down the line next time, they'll have to attack that as well and, and sort that out. 39 years old, um, came out of surgery and I've had a good team around me, like the nurses, the doctor, it's been really great. Uh, the insurance company has been very good as well. You know, everything's been pre-approved, so they'll cover it. I don't have to pay for it and then give them money back. It will all, they'll cover the entire surgery and everything. Uh, I don't know about the meals, though, because <laughs> I've had meals over the last couple of days. I may have to pay for those, which is fine. It's, it's not too much. Um, so that's been done. And then uh, the I have to now have recovery time. So I'm, I spent the entirety of, of yesterday 
for 24 hours, I wasn't allowed to get out of bed. I had to stay in bed. They had an IE taking care of me, which was really nice. The woman was really cool, um, helped me out. And uh, I was basically taken care of. Then I, uh, today, I was able to get out of bed and start walking around. Uh, they gave me loads of IV drips, uh, antibiotics to kind of flush whatever was out of my system. I had a little bit of pain last night, just a little bit in my ankle. Um, but mostly I think cause my leg was waking up. It was like a complete and utter like weight. <laughs> I couldn't move, I couldn't move it left, couldn't move it right. It was just a weight. Uh, but my recovery time has been very quick so far. You know, um, I've managed within after surgery, I was feeling a lot better. And now uh, I'm feeling immensely better. Once I get home, uh, I, I can take Luigi for walks and, uh, you know, clean the apartment a little bit here, a little bit there, but most of the time I have to stay in bed and just not move, which is annoying. Um, which, you know, uh, and I've got to make sure I bend appropriately. I can't bend like this. I have to like literally squat down and bend. Um, so if I'm picking anything up, can't lift anything heavy. And, uh, for a month I have to stay in bed so that the, the the prominent position is in bed probably play some switch games uh i'm i'm actually going to probably finish applying for my pgce for february and uh sort things out for my um my my career as a teacher basically and i i i really owe one to my school um the rdfz kings uh in hanjo they've really taken care of me uh, made as many allowances as they could to make sure that I was okay. I, I owe all the teachers there who are covering my classes. So I'm going to try and do something nice for them to help them out um, when I get back. Uh, I owe, like, the, the staff at this hospital have been amazing. I've heard some horror stories about people going to hospitals in China. Um, and, like, things getting stolen, people being uh, mistreated. I haven't had any of those. Like, the, the hospital has been great. The doctor is amazing. I had a translator uh, waiting for me. She's been great. She even held my hand <laughs> during my operation. Um, everyone's been amazing and I'm really, really happy. And uh, to be honest, I, I'm so glad that I'm here in China. Like they've, they've taken care of me. Uh, I've been in a really, really good position right now. And I, I can't say a bad thing, to be honest. There, there hasn't been a bad thing. Um, and the insurance company are supposed to cover this. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop, like, uh, cause it's supposed to be direct pay, which means they cover their whole operation themselves. And, um, I don't have to pay for anything or try and reclaim anything back. So that's, that's what I'm hoping happens today. Uh, I may have to come in for another outpatient appointment, which means I've got to pay copay on that 20%, which isn't too much to be honest um but yeah i'm in a very privileged position uh working in in china i'm in a very privileged position where i am as a teacher uh and i'm i'm trying to utilize that and, and get myself higher and higher in this uh in this thing and i i love teaching drama this is literally my dream job like i'm i'm having so much fun doing this uh, I've got to get used to the teacher aspects of it, though, like the paperwork. I still haven't gotten used to those or how they layer their lesson plans. But yeah, so there's the update. Uh, I'm doing really, really well. Thank you to everybody who's reached out. And a, a big thank you to everybody who at this hospital who's looked after me. I've, like, literally, it, I've been um, so privileged to be taken care of as great as I have been. But anyway... This is me saying I will see you soon and, uh, oh, yep, wiring and stuff. I, <laughs> I will, uh, hope you're having a great day, guys. And I know I am, you know, I get to do all the things I love, eating and sleeping. So see you soon.